My name is Connolly, Alexander Connolly, and I'm a hatter. Well, I've been making hats for 64 years. I started out when I was 10 years old. I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where hats were very, very important. People didn't come out of the house without a hat on, you know? When you look down the street, uh, you didn't see a lot of heads, you saw a lot of hats. I was a shoe shine boy in my hometown, so as a shoe shine boy, I was able to talk to the hatter a lot. So he uh, kind of used me as his, his uh, messenger boy to take messages back and forth to the ladies for him. So he taught me to be a hatter, so I would stay interested in his program. So I became a hatter by uh, being a, a romance arranger. It was pretty rough down there in those days because, you know, you found uh, uh, brothers floating in the river, tied and barbed wire, and uh, guys were hung. This was way before Martin Luther King started his thing. It seemed as though the world started to change a little bit then, you know. It started to change a lot, as a matter of fact, I thought. But, uh, people weren't so much looking at color. They were just uh, looking at what, what they had inside them. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Hats that you buy in stores will have gaps. It will just be a hat, but not uh, specifically your hat, because it wasn't made just for you. It was made for anybody who could stick their head in the hat. There you go, my friend. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. We specialize in hats made just for the person's head. I will take this particular gadget, which is called a conformature. This was made in France 160 years ago. Uh, and I would be surprised if there were, were 20 of these things in America. All right, my friend. I don't want to get it on your sideways. Look like you're walking down the street backwards. People don't know it. Uh, they, they will live their entire life and they will not even know that their nose is not in the middle of, of their face. You know, if you go around and you start looking at people, you will find that a lot of people have a small amount of head on one side of the nose and a lot of head on the other side of the nose. Uh -huh. Of course, when there's too great a difference, I won't mention it, you know, because no one likes to be told that they're not perfect. These needles, uh, we'll put small holes in the card, giving me the shape of the person's head. So I will cut that shape out of the piece of cardboard, and then I will put that shape in the other part of the gadget called the familiar. Put it in the center of the familiar and slide the notches up to the pattern, and it recreates the person's head around the edge. I can truly make them a hat that fits like a glove. This area that I've been in all these years, in the Madrona area, has really been a fine place. I started out as an actor there and uh, ended up being in the neighborhood as a hatter for the next 25 years. I've met lots of interesting people and I wouldn't have changed it for anything in the world. Look to this day, for it is the very life of life. In its brief course lies all the possibilities of your existence, the bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendor of beauty. Yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of beauty, and every tomorrow a vision of hope.